a video orientation of a 2017 Thor Ace. I'm going to start on the front, work my way around counterclockwise, then work my way in, and then go to the dash. So from the front, you have your hood. Open it with the barrel locks. Well, from the bottom, this one takes a little bit of wiggling, but it does come up. Under the hood, chassis battery, coolant, air filter, power steering fluid, oil dipstick, and way up top is power or brake fluid. <clears throat> and if you look down, that is your washer fluid. Not a whole lot else in here that I can show you. Uh, transmission dipstick and oil fill. Beyond that, pretty simple motor. It was really hard to get to. All right, left side of the coach. Top mirror, heated and power. Bottom mirror is manual. You also have the camera here, so when you turn your left and right turn signals, your cameras will see on the back or on the sides blind spots you will also have a rear view camera i'll show you that when we get to it first compartment there is no lock on this one it's automatically going to be propane you cannot lock propane right now it's reading just below three quarters it's actually full um you have to have about 80 percent of the tank full in order for it to actually work for you all the way open or all the way close, never in between. Let's leave it all the way open so I can turn on other things inside. But you also fill it here. Uh, the only other thing you need to know about this one is that it's here. You fill here, but you have a U Haul, someplace like that, fill it, or us. Um, it's not something you're going to fill on your own or pull out and bring anywhere. Compartment right up behind it. Just a little bit of storage. Lights. Slide out control motor or controller. Um, not something you want to really want to mess with. A little bit of storage over through. It's pretty cool. These all have the same locks. <clears throat> Wet bay. Looks like you have a black tank drain here. Santa flush is going to be for uh, basically an upside down sprinkler inside your black tank, uh, wash out debris, anything else that might be in it. Outside shower is pretty cool. But, and then a little bit of storage in here. Right above that compartment, we have city water connection. Basically, fill your tank, uh, have water pressure to your house. To the left of city water connection, you have your water heater. Water heater is propane and electric. There are two switches inside to change between the two. I always tell people to run the electric when you're doing dishes, washing your hands, stuff like that. Ready to take a shower, turn on the propane as well. At faster regenerate. And if you're storing it, make sure you remove that plug right there. That's going to drain the pro or the tank, and you won't have any stagnant water in there. And trust me, anytime you store it for even a week or two, drain it. It's, uh, it's going to help you from having that smelly water in the whole system. You have exhaust. Clip here, it's going to be cable inlet, so if Camp Brown has cable, you can as well, as long as you provide your own coax cord. Then you have Furion, 30 amp cord, that's going to be in another compartment when we get to it. But it's twist in cord, 30 amp, you can actually run your AC on that. Oh, look, 30 amp cord. That one's roughly 25 feet, so I'll give you a little bit. You may need an extension cord for 
uh, some of those campgrounds are just a little further away. But nice storage in there as well. Right below that, we're going to have the generator. Oh, sorry, that one's the generator. This one's this one's more sewage. So you have gray handle, black handle. Once you're hooked up, pull the black handle first, let it drain, and then pull the gray. Always pull the black first. A little bit of light. Sorry, it looks a little, little bit like debris in there. Um, hasn't been cleaned yet. It will be. And generator. Pull those, pull forward, pull down. You can start and stop it out here. You never will. <clears throat> there is a switch in here that is pointed back. That is right there. That is a breaker. It's basically just a normal household breaker. <clears throat> back is going to be off front is going to be on if you ever have any problems the generator is running and you're not getting any power always check here first it's always going to be your <clears throat> point of problematic area well <laughs> we have your oil fill as well as dipstick here you want to do an oil change every 150 hours uh, there should be a manual inside you can refer to that if you need to All right, back of the coach, ladder on the back. It's only got a 250 pound weight capacity on it. So uh, just be careful. I usually like to put on my own ladders. Uh, gas is on the back side, not on the side. Unleaded fuel only. You don't need to do deal with uh, uh, premium. That'd be fine the way it is. <clears throat> Decent hitch, seven way plug with 8,000 pound towing capacity on the hitch. 500 pound tongue weight. 8,000 pounds is actually a little high um, for the coach, but not the hitch. We'll just go by the GVRW on that one. Go around. A little more storage. A ladder for one of the bunks. starter kit 25 foot safe drinking hose 25 foot or 25 foot safe drinking hose water pressure regulator four rolls of rv marine toilet paper 10 foot sewage hose 15 drop-ins for your black tank basically to hold down any of the uh deodorize as well as uh, break down the solids and a 30 amp to 15 amp adapter so you can plug it into your house with that 15 amp adapter do not run your air conditioner with that. It will damage something. And then you have a low point drain. It looks like it's for your fresh tank. <coughs> That's going to be for your tank fill. It's a gravity fill. Basically put a hose in it, fill it up, and when it starts spraying out, it's full. 110 outlet outside. Furnace, it does say hot, just don't touch it. <clears throat> a little bit of outside storage that goes kind of inside. Kind of a cool little storage compartment. <clears throat> Fridge, Fridge vent, there's gonna be one on the roof as well. Just take that off, clean it out, but once every, uh, once a year, twice a year, just make sure there's no debris in it. more storage <clears throat> all right <clears throat> house batteries those have been checked they're pretty good uh, hydraulic leveling system this is the jack for that level on it right now which you can kind of see it's at a good level right now just make sure you check the levels when the jacks are up, not when they're down. 
or else it'll look empty when they're down. <clears throat> TV compartment. Outside TV. This one is adjustable. So you can swing that out and watch a football game outside if you want. And then outside speakers are going to be controlled by the dash radio. Entry door. I like the screen doors. Fire extinguisher right inside the door. Then you have your switches. We have our awning in and out. LED lights on the awning. Step light, which is actually going to be light under the step. That's going to be so your step stays out at all times and doesn't go in and out all the time. We have first switch there. It's going to be for that light. Second switch is inside. And third switch is going to be for the awning. All right, third switch is going to be for your awning. All right, we'll go inside. All right, so as we go in, your switches, small little cupboard, coat rack, I guess. <clears throat> you have slide out buttons, water heater, propane, well, water pump, propane water heater. So, propane, electric. Electric just doesn't regen so fast, so you always want to use the LP when you're taking a shower. So, we're going to slide out, push up, hold it. Hold it until it stops. All right, I save about 40 seconds when I don't record that. So, that generator is right above it. Push and hold down to prime it. I always hold it down until the LCD screen tells me how many hours on it, 104.4. Then I push up and hold. Oh, not starting. We'll do that one more time. This happens occasionally because it has a backflow towards the tank. So you might occasionally come across this. Generator starting. It takes about 30 seconds to a minute. Once it does, it starts up. We'll hear the see the microwave come on. All right. Now that I got generator running, microwave's on, AC's kicking right now. It's a little warm out and humid, so I'm gonna let that run for a while. I have a gauge here, propane. Push that one. Again, it is full. Battery is going to read full because the generator is running. Fresh tank is full. We like to leave them full for customers. Black tank is empty. Gray tank is empty. And then mint gray is not quite empty. <clears throat> I can empty that before I'm done. But beyond that, it's a pretty simple setup right here. We'll move into the fridge. So right now it's set to auto. Auto is always going to look for 110 power. If it does not find 110 power, it's going to switch automatically to propane. And then temperature gauge on the side there. We always run them at coldest. You might find it better to be at three or four. Thermostat, pretty simple. Normal household thermostat. Cool fan off heat. And then fan correction on top of that. Decent size bedroom. Alright, so the bed on this one, slide out switch is going to be right here. We're going to extend. Alright, slide out is out all the way. Fold the bed down. Nice queen size bed. A little more than queen. Not quite a full king though. Nice bed though. It's comfortable. It's all foam. Little ceiling fan in this case you like me and you need a little bit of noise to sleep at night. 
TV in the back. Decent shower with a little bit of storage underneath. Toilet. Outlets, light switch, and another fan that's done manually. Okay, so bathroom. And then we have your table. It's going to be for the front here. A little post, I'll show you real quick. So, table and post. We'll walk up here. And that's where it's going to go. Nice dinette. Kitchen sink, stove. First, first one's always going to be... Well, not always full of stuff, but something. Second one's always going to be your second set of keys and all your remotes for all your TVs. Stove. Lift it up. It's actually kind of a nice stove. I like these. I like the way they work. I like the way they cook. Pretty nice. And just your regular normal microwave. Alright, fold out couch. Pull from the bottom. Pull forward. Turns into a bed. Uh, it's almost a full size. Then you have a cushion underneath this that goes to the dinette. The dinette folds down by pushing this lever straight up and down, and then pushing down on the top. Obviously, I have to move, move cushions first, but. Push it back up, lock it in place, and I can put pressure on the top again, and I have it drop. All right, couch. Compartment here, we're gonna have some HDMI cables. Those are gonna all go to your TVs. Um, you'll have to get your own DVD players, or Xbox, or whatever else you might hook up to it. Beyond that, my shades and then how the bed goes down kind of a cool little bed it's got a two inch mattress on it so it's not actually soft but it's there it's better than laying on just a piece of wood That's pretty thin. But it is there, and this is what that ladder is for underneath. A little bit of storage up here for any reason, really. All right, we'll get into the dash. I don't know why I say all right every time I start the video again, but I guess I do. <clears throat> I do like the little TV tray up front, laptop tray. Fold that up, throw your laptop on it, or a tablet. 110 outlet, I think I can get a good view of it, and 12 volt outlet as well. Decent size reclining seats. We get a couple of little cool things up front. 12 volt outlet, old school cigarette lighter. Behind this is HDMI and USB for the stereo. And then another 12 volt outlet. Pretty simple temperature gauges here. One, two, three, four. Basically anything you see on a Ford chassis any other time. Stereo on this one. Um, always suggest people just play with the buttons before you go anywhere. Just to know how your system works. You know, I'm, if you hear when you uh, have your, when you're picking up, We'll be able to answer any questions that you might not be able to figure out on that. Cruise controls on the steering wheel. On and off. Resume. Set coast. Tow haul is in case you want to tow something. A little shy of 8,000 pounds still. And then your speedometer, your odometer, your tachometer. 
fuel gauge. Basically, typical stuff. <clears throat> One thing that people always ask me about is this immerse start. I should say emergency, but it's basically turns your house batteries into chassis batteries. They so can start your engine if you ever get stuck somewhere. And you run your chassis battery dead from listening to the stereo or whatnot. Headlights. This is going to dim and brighten your dashboard. Then leveling system. That one's pretty simple. On and off. Ignition has to be on. Parking brake has to be on. But on and off. And then auto level. It's going to level you out. It takes about two to three minutes. Pretty simple. Mirror heat. And then your mirror adjustments. Parking brake release. Parking brake. And it does have a gas pedal and a brake pedal too. But beyond that, pretty simple unit. It's uh, simple is always easier. I always like them. So while you're here, uh, feel free to check it out. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask for us. All right, have a good day.